Um, this one is also published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt Books, and I'm reading it with permission from them. This is called The Donkey Egg, and it also is written by Janet Stevens with her sister, Susan Stevens Crummel. And Janet Stevens did the illustrations in this. It's a lot of fun. And this book is starring Bear, old, lazy, cranky, worked hard once, but not anymore, needs motivation. Hair, friendly, speedy, always running, wants a rematch with Tortoise. Blanket, warm, dramatic, hides things. Multi-talented, has a checkered past. And Fox, clever, loves to play tricks, looking for mischief and some quick cash. And a cameo appearance by Donkey. Where did he come from? An egg, green, mysterious, what's inside? Up on the hill lived a grumpy old bear. His farm was a wreck and it needed repair. But Bear didn't care, he just slept in his chair and growled at his neighbors, fox and hare. Wake up, Bear, cried Fox. I know you want to turn this place back into a mighty fine farm, grow some mighty fine crops, and have a mighty fine life. But you need help, and I've got just the thing. Grrr, growled Bear. What? thing. Ta-da! A donkey! That's not a donkey, cried Bear. Not yet, but it will be, said Fox. It's a donkey egg, a genuine certified donkey egg. Still green, has to ripen and hatch. That's where you come in. Keep it warm, safe, and happy, like a little mama bird on her nest. It will take time. Minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. So be patient. Then, voila, a donkey. As you know, Bear, lots of animals come from eggs. Dinosaurs, chickens, platypuses, alligators, and donkeys. It's the truth. I can see it now. Your fields are plowed. Your house is painted. You and your donkey sitting on the porch watching the sunset. What a deal. And it's a steal. Today, only $19.95. No way, said Bear. Fox sighed. Okay, I'll settle for that $20 bill. Sold. It's a done deal. Fox scooped up the cash and disappeared in a flash. And all that was left was Bear in his chair and a gigantic green donkey egg. That fast talking fox, muttered Bear. Now what am I supposed to do? Then he remembered, keep it warm. So like a big mama bird, Bear carefully sat this way and that. He sat and he sat. Tickety talk, clickety clock, minutes passed, no donkey. Here we have a little information box. I'll read the beginning part because it's kind of long. Did you know that one minute equals 60 seconds? It takes about a second to sneeze. <gasps> Neighbor Hare had just begun his daily run when he screeched to a halt. Bear, you're out of your chair. I'm sitting on my donkey egg, growled Bear. What? Donkeys don't come from eggs. Yes, they do, cried Bear, like dinosaurs, chickens, alligators, platypuses, even tortoises. I'm keeping it warm so it will hatch. Been sitting for a whole hour. No donkey. Well, you keep sitting and I'll keep running, said Hare. Got another race with tortoise. Off went Hare, leaving Bear to sit. And sit and sit, mustn't quit. tickety tock, clickety clock hours pass, no donkey. Did you know that one hour 
equals 60 minutes, which is 3,600 seconds. It takes a spider about an hour to spin a fancy web. What do I do now? Then Bear remembered, keep it safe. Bear cradled the egg and sang, Rock-a-bye donkey, my little one. Ripen and hatch, there's work to be done. If there is danger, I will be there. You'll be my donkey, I'll be your bear. Again, hair screeched to a halt. Bear, you're rocking and singing in your chair. I'm keeping my donkey egg safe, replied Bear. Been rocking all day, no donkey. Well, you keep rocking and I'll keep running, said Hare. Gotta win that race. And off went Hare, leaving Bear to rock. And rock and rock. Rockety rock, tickety talk, clickety clock. Days passed, no donkey. Did you know that one day equals 24 hours, which equals 1,440 minutes, which equals 86,400 seconds? One day is about how long it takes the Earth to spin all the way around on its axis. Now what? Then Bear remembered. Keep it happy. He told Egg a tale of a girl and three bears. Fables with tortoises, foxes, and hares. Bear acted out plays where he played every part again and again till he knew them by heart. Bear pointed his toes as he leaped through the air. He played peekaboo hiding under his chair. For the third time, Hare screeched to a halt. Bear, you're under your chair. I'm playing with my donkey egg, said Bear, keeping it happy so it will hatch. Been playing all week, still no donkey. But there will be, Bear grinned. So you keep running and I'll keep playing. I'm gonna hatch that egg and you're gonna beat that tortoise. Off went Hare leaving Bear to play, and play and play, night and day. Tickety-tock, clickety-clock, weeks passed, no donkey. Did you know that a week equals seven days, which equals 168 hours, which equals 10,080 minutes, which equals 604,800 seconds, and a mama hummingbird takes about a week to build her tiny nest, which is about the size of a ping pong ball. Through wind and rain and snow, Bear stayed. He sang, he sat, he rocked, he played. He loved that egg with all his heart. Never was there quite a pair, Bear and Egg, Egg and Bear. Only napping here and there, Bear grew tired, really tired, really, really tired. He couldn't keep from falling, falling, fast asleep. <sighs> Plop, roll. <gasps> oh no, shouted Bear, help, egg on the loose. Hare's ears perked up. Egg on the loose, hair to the rescue. And the chase was on. It was egg out in front, bear close behind, and hare bringing up the rear. Around the turn, egg leading, hare speeding, bear stampeding. Across the road, egg tumbling, hare stumbling, bear fumbling. Through the field, bear thrashing, hare dashing. Egg crashing. Oh no. Crack. Oh dear. My donkey hatched, cried Bear. I've got him by the ears. Ouch. Those are my ears, hollered Hare. Can't you see? It's not a donkey egg, it's a watermelon. 
but it can't be. Fox said it was a genuine certified donkey egg. Fox? gasped Hare. You believed Fox? Bear hung his head. He tricked me. Fox tricked me. No donkey egg, no baby donkey, no nothing. There wasn't a sound as Bear looked around. And there on the ground, guess what he found? Look, you see all these little black things. What are they? <gasps> Seeds. Bear had an idea. I've got work to do. Will you start working and I'll... Here, paused. Oh, who cares about a silly old race? For hours then days, Bear and Hare tilled the land. They weeded and planted and watered by hand. For weeks then months, the plants grew and grew. May, June, July, they were growing into <gasps> watermelons everywhere. To market, to market went Bear and Hare to sell those watermelons. And what did they buy? What do you think they bought? Let's see. <gasps> Ta-da! Hee-haw, hee-haw. They bought a donkey. And there's Fox. Wondering, watermelons really turn into donkeys? Off ran Bear with donkey and hare to fix up his farm that needed repair. And all that was left was, look who's hoping a watermelon will turn into a donkey. Ha ha, the end. So I hope you enjoyed those stories. And please join us again for our next story time on Zoom or whatever platform we end up choosing. Thank you.